Hello, so here we are looking at GCSE Physics for SIA 2015 and this is Unit 2. Question 6, Part A. The diagram below shows the basic structure of the Earth and its interior. Part 1, write the names of those parts in the boxes which are attached to them. Okay, so you've got four parts here. You've got crust, uh, inner core, outer core, and mantle. So inner core and outer core should be obvious. Crust is on the surface. Where do you find the crust of a loaf? Well, it's on the surface. So the cores are obviously going to be in the middle. Uh, three is the closest end one, so it's going to be the inner core. Four is going to be the outer core. And that leaves only one space for the mantle. So if you think about that kind of question carefully, you should really find it difficult to get wrong. Crust on the outside, two types of core on the in, in the middle, and mantle is the one left over. What two elements are the main constituents of the region marked 3? So in other words, what two elements are you going to find at the inner core of the earth? And iron and nickel are your answers there. Which region is believed to be in liquid state? And that is the outer core. And then we're asked this thing that they keep going on about uh, in the SIA uh, exams is the lithosphere. And uh, this is a learning off thing. It's the upper solid part of the mantle and the crust. Part B. Describe how the tectonic plate model explains earthquakes. Okay, so what we have to explain here is that there's uh, plates that are trying to rub past each other and then they stick and catch and then they let go again and so it's that kind of um, behaviour that you get when you move your hand along something, it sticks and then it moves again. I can do that on the microphone here, so if I pull on the mic cable, every time my hand slips, that's the friction being overcome. And that's what's happening. The plates are pushing and pushing and pushing, trying to slide, then there's a sudden slip. And that's what causes the earthquakes. So the plates are trying to move past each other. They catch on each other and then the pressure starts to build up. And eventually they do slip. And that results in a violent movement of the ground. And that's really what an earthquake is. Part C then. Volcanoes can be the result of plate movement. And the diagram below shows one such situation where an oceanic plate collides with a continental plate. So this is a subduction here. And during subductions we get the creation of volcanoes. So what's basically happening is that this material is being forced under. And as it's forced under, uh, there's tremendous heat produced here in the forcing of this rock material in under the other plate and produces tremendous heat and that causes basically uh, the material to melt in this zone and then that makes its way to the surface as a volcano. So the subduction causes tremendous heat and this melts the material uh, of the subducting plate and that causes tremendous amounts of heat and pressure. So what we also get is pressure because of the heat. So the molten magma that's being produced is also being produced along with lots of other material that will expand and produce pressure. And so we notice it when it turns up at the surface in the form of uh, material being ejected from the earth in the, the top of the volcano. And that's that. And that concludes this paper as well. Thanks for watching.